Hello, I'm Toy Cat and welcome back to another third channel, Pocket City Let's Play. Been having a lot of fun with this Let's Play so far, which is why I'm excited to bring you part 5, or episode 5, or you know, whatever you call these videos, because that's half the fun. Uh, so yeah, I want to mention that every single episode has crashed, uh, you know, at the end of the video. Uh, there's been some form of, uh, you know, like, issue going down, and that's a fun way to decide the video length, right? So that's how this one will be decided too. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to be doing a lot of expansion. I've saved up a lot of cash so I can do some aggressive expansion, uh, both in terms of my territory, but also in terms of, uh, you know, because, like, I can buy some land, but also in terms of, like, this land up right here, it's going to turn in some good stuff. So, I actually had an idea, because uh, a lot of my city is grid-based, which means that this stuff right here, this big crisis I had, why don't I use this as a highway instead, so I get two lanes, which sucks because it means, like, you know, water doesn't go along it, etc. However, what it does mean is, well, I mean, apparently my city levels up, because... Go me. Um, <laughs> but what it means is it. Oh, um, is that uh, the water can still get there, or should be able to get there, because there's road next to it. Um, but uh, the water. Oh, the reason it can't is because that road is a highway technically. But yeah, the idea is that uh, we can have like faster highways through the city, so that cars, if they need to get places. They just take the highway instead, so that should be some magic, maybe, uh, that we'll kind of work on and have highways going, like, through the city, kind of, uh, because it only needs to be connected to the power in one kind of way. So, for instance, from here, we could have a huge highway go down from there over to here. Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 that, not, not like that at all. But, yeah, I, I feel like that that's a fun idea we can use. So, okay, highway, we'll go from here down across there. And then that way we can have, like, lots of mega highway systems. And again, everything stays connected to power if we do things right, which it looks like we didn't do uh, just over here, so we have to be real fast on building a power plant. But, uh, yeah, to, to, to me it seems like a good enough idea, so connect that there. Does it magically work? Who knows for sure until it does. But, uh, yeah, I, th I figured, like, you know, get some traffic improvements going for later on down the road. And that also means we have plenty of space to build the apartment buildings and the whatever else we want to build. Because I've also... Uh, so our power plant load has gone up pretty high, even though we've just built a new one, so that's probably quite concerning. Uh, because also, there's a few things I wanted to build in terms of like, oh yeah, let's have a lattice tower, or an Eiffel Tower uh, knockoff, I guess. Because, you know, I need, I need to have some big attraction in the center that brings people here, brings a lot of happiness to the town. Like this guy who likes to relax with death metal. And that's a fun thing right there. So yeah, uh, after, after realizing how easy it is to get to treasure chests, I'm going to click on a bunch of them now because it's a, a quest for trying to find, uh, not only money, but uh, for trying to find a brand new uh, structure from these things. So that's a thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy up some land with easy treasure chests. And then I'm going to, you know, like eat up the treasure chest because that seems like a good use of money to me. We get even most of the money back or we get a quest done and that's kind of fun. So look at this right here. I now have access to a brand new chest. And eventually one of them gives a brand new structure, which kind of sounds fun to me. So, uh, yeah, things are going well in the IBX Toy City. I've um, I've been playing the game more just on and off, like, oh, I was on a train earlier, and I figured, let's play some of this, which is um, quite a shocking development, at least for me. And, um, yeah, the po basically, oh, I don't want to replace that, no. Uh, basically, Pocket City's just been getting more and more addicting, which is a good thing, all, all things considered, I would say. And, uh, you know, I've been, like, considering more, like, oh, I really want to get to the level 26 so I can get Sky Trains, etc. And that's, I feel like, a good sign. And also, I've been reading through the quests, like, getting, seeing what, what needs to be done. And one of them is actually, uh, I don't know which one it is, but one of them is for finding someone who's doing yoga. So, yeah, zoom in on a citizen doing yoga. Which sounds like a really creepy one, actually. But, uh... It's, yeah, still kind of, sounds uh, kind of fun. So, at level 24, we can start a fireworks show, which is fun, even though it's off the books, which sounds highly illegal. Um, and, yeah, just think, things have been going very well in, in, in terms of this Let's Play, or in terms of uh, my little city, and that's a good thing in general. It's, it's hard to disagree with things going well, right? Like, oh, no, I'm actually, I'm anti-things going well. I like it when things go badly. No, that's, that's, that's not a valid opinion. <laughs> that's not a thing that people really think. So yeah, just while my city is prospering, it's it's growing fairly slowly, which is which is good uh, in all the good metrics. <clears throat> Our population, people are inspired to live here, they're spending lots of money. We can lower taxes eventually, and in the meantime, we can just aggressively become the big city that we know we want to be. Which is, again, it's the dream, it's what we want from here. So we actually unlocked uh, that, that castle from the treasure chest by finding like an old thing in the, the town. I guess it's now taught me the building, so I can, you know, steal the design and just build it in the center. Which to me sounds terrible for the record, like, oh yeah, um, is it fun? Is it outdoors? What, what is it? Uh, like, I guess services, maybe? I mean, it is kind of like a service, right? Like, oh yeah, 
Oh, dynamite. So we've unlocked dynamite now, which is cool. We can destroy uh, one of the most annoying... Oh, no, 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 over here. Uh, we can now destroy one of the most singular annoying uh, rocks that's been in my game. This one right here. Look at it go. Oh, that's that's satisfying. Industrial progress. Um, so, yeah. Um, Pocket Cities, a lot of fun. And also, uh, just I've been playing a lot on trains and stuff, which I've been doing a lot of recently. And actually, you know, I was, I was on a train earlier today. And besides the fact that it was, again, ungodly hot because the AC wasn't running, and I've started to realize now that, like, London is basically one of these you know, like, Asian cities where it's so hot all the time that you gotta, you just, you just gotta have AC or you die, um, <laughs> that's, that's just how it be, you know? Also, we're gonna, to try and get more happiness in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the very risky decision to turn down taxes. We're gonna have income taxes come down to, like, lure people in. Our income increase goes up, but our citizens should also increase as well. People are gonna wanna live here, they're gonna wanna do our jobs or whatever else, and that's just all we want from this. So just build a huge zone there. Build a huge mega blue zone here. Because we better believe that's going to happen too. And just just, just have a happy, happy all-round life. Level up, 23. Get me five grand, which at this point is like <laughs> chump change, right? My urban sprawl is happening as well. And baby, you're a firework. It's it's all going down today. So yeah, I actually, I, I still really want to find a cit citizen doing yoga. Like, here's a guy who is uh, playing his guitar. In fact, actually, why don't we just uh, go find a gym of some form? Like, someone who is at the gym, and, and kind of zoom in on them, because... Also, I turned down taxes, and now my income's going up like crazy again. So, I'm just doing everything right today. Nothing can go wrong. Which is why we're going to start a farming, like, settlement over here. Because there's some land in, like, a really kind of useless area. And we're going to, we're going to like, turn this into my little, my little farming project. Because I, I don't know how farms work. But I do know that I probably should have them. In fact, I think the game's been, like, imagining I'd have them this whole time. But I've been like, you know, actually, I don't need farms. I'm going to go the Singapore route and just assume that, you know, hopefully no one ever invades and cuts off the food supply. And if they don't, then I'll be incredibly wealthy. Which, to me, sounds like a, a good solution, right? So, it has to be placed on soil. Oh, which means I need to buy another plot of land. Oh, I didn't even realize that they, they had their own little special tile. Which means that there's going to be a special tile for the desert, one assumes. But yeah, services, no wait, uh, resources, plant me a farm right over here. Oh, it has to be all the way on, on soil. So that's probably, there's only two farms we can place on here, in fact. One there, and then like one next to it, which is kind of ugly. Ruins the grid system, but that's fine, I guess. So we'll, we'll, we'll get two. I'm worth it, or my farms are worth it, or my city's worth it. What? Whatever is the correct phrase uh, for this thing right here. So, for some reason that doesn't count, even as this. Like, half of the soil doesn't count as real soil. Which is strange. Oh, and there's there's soil up there. So we'll place one. You know, yeah, we, we have a nice diversified city with soil. Oh, it's because I don't own it. That's why I can't use it. Right, okay. So, <laughs> another tornado, by the way. Destroying a serious portion of the town. Like, I am just... This place is just wrecked. So, destroy all rebuilt zones. Sure. Oh, you can just, you can pay money, and it all comes back to life, which is nice. Although, uh, w one of the really, so I, I I said, like, this kind of vaguely controversial statement, like, oh yeah, guess what, you can, it'd be, it'd be a fun scam to, like, pretend you had tornadoes and get AIDS, and although it's not quite the same as that, you know, it's not quite as nefarious as what I suggest, oh, we need, we need houses now. People want to live here so bad, they just can't move in fast enough. Um, although, although what this game is, uh, is suggested isn't quite that nefarious, there is a system whereby, um, so I'm going to build a road, there is a system whereby you can make your own natural disasters and get aid for them. So if you think it's worthwhile to have a tornado come through, which, you know, maybe I do, then guess what? I can throw a tornado for, uh, tornado for every five minutes and get some aid money, plus XP, plus I get to rebuild the city. So... I'm just saying, I, I think there's some ethical concerns, you know, don't know if if it's necessarily the best thing that you can destroy your own city a little bit. It seems a little bit like there's some room for that to go wrong, but otherwise it's kind of fun. Anyway, as you can see, we're now the right level to start a fireworks event. Let's do it, because baby you're a firework. I, I like that song because I heard it in a bar once and now, now whenever I hear it I'm like, oh yeah, it was vaguely fun that first time I heard that. 
as I feel like everyone feels about these songs, like, heard it somewhere once, was kind of nice, now it's in my head. Which actually, that describes the appeal of all music, right? Like, oh yeah, I heard it enough times that it has gone into my head, and now I like it for that reason. Um, like, everyone likes to say, like, oh yeah, this music's deep and it's complex and it gets me, uh, but a lot of times it's like, oh yeah, it's... It's kind. It's vaguely catchy. <laughs> it's kind. It's it's not as bad as it could have been. Uh, oh, we can finally build this supplies water to zones connected to roads if we build it near water. Which guess what we can totally do. So we're gonna go over to our water. I'm not sure where about we even want to build it. Like over here, I guess. Sure. You know, water treatment plant right next to the shipping docks makes sense. Now we've got water for all the homes. I imagine at least as soon as it's built. It should magically provide water for everyone. Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. We've got that sorted. We really should get a brand new... Uh, oh, are we going to level up again? Yeah, we totally are. Oh, that's $3,000. Go Grow local? Yeah, look at that. Got got the farm sorted. Everything's Toy Cat's way today. Grow and ship it. So export local goods to our cities to earn extra income. So we build a shipping dock. And then once we've done that... Oh, look at that. I've already done it. Go me. I'm just too good at all these things already, eh? Hey, mate. We should do that. I think you'll find I actually already have one. And then we can also build a steel mill and get things going on that. But yeah, I was um, I was on a train earlier today. I missed a chest, so silly me again. <laughs> but uh, I was on a train earlier, which was like super non ac -ed. And I just realized that like sometimes, after spending a lot of time with someone, it's nice to just be by yourself, especially on public transport. One of the things that is like underappreciated in the world, I would say, is just like, you know, sometimes it's kind of nice to just be by yourself. Sometimes alone time, is the time you need most. Uh, just build a mega power plant, sure. It's a little bit ugly, but what you gonna do, you know? Sometimes you need ugly buildings, and this is one of those times. But um, yeah, I, I feel like it's an, a, a hugely underappreciated uh, thing of just like, sometimes let's just chill and be by ourselves. And I feel like the space that, that public transport can slash does provide it's especially nice for that. So we're going to go all the way up here on this one. Build another just huge section of residential housing. So we, we, it seems like we're getting like, you know, these rewards based solely on, uh, you know, like buying the things. Oh, we can now buy a chai latte, which sounds like a really tasty uh, drink. Oh, it is actually, a t it is a chai latte town hall. So yeah, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this game is entirely free. The only thing you have to pay for is like, oh yeah, if you want to customize your town hall and your name and a few other things and sandbox mode but I think the, uh, there is a free version of the game which I think has most of that stuff anyway so just saying sounds like a good deal to me hashtag this isn't an ad but it might as well be but give me money if you're out there Mr. Man who made the game uh, because yeah it's 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 one of the few delights in my life where it's just again it's like a solid city builder you can get into you can get out you can you can do all the stuff very easily in in it, which is not something you can say about most games so yeah we're, we're finally on both sides of the river but i'm gonna wait to develop here until we can buy sky trains because i know they're coming up really soon we gotta get ready for that so anyway next step is the steel mill resources goods steel mill so can be built anywhere i assume but i guess here makes the most sense next to the farm you know what, steel mills and farms they're basically the same thing they're things for people who live all the way out in nowhere uh, to go out and do. Which is Toy Cat being a, a city, what do they call it, like a city liberal or something? Like, oh, believing cities is good is a controversial opinion. Which, I mean, it, it actually kind of is. Like, in, in a lot of countries, there are reasons not to live in cities. But I really think, like, as someone who, like, just cares about the future and how things will be there, like, it's it's very easy and, oh, God, what have we done here? What have we done here? It's very easy to see that, like, oh yeah, well, all, all the all the future things happen in cities. That's that's where the stuff is happening, you know. Oh, and that is the end of today's episode. It is it is suspicious how close these things come to, um, you know, like the 15 minute mark before they crash. It's almost as if the game is crashing because of the video. Even when I play the game normally, it doesn't crash at the end of this, but it seems to do it right here. Let me know if you want to see more of these, uh, because, you know, five episodes is a nice end to a series. Uh, maybe we'll be at some gap between the next one. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Third channel, don't care. Goodbye.